Marijuana laws are changing all throughout the country, and with it, more people are using weed on a regular basis. But is that a cause for concern? News 4's Anyang is working for your health and is speaking with a psychiatrist about the growing use of marijuana and its effects. Psychiatrist Dr. Joshua Weiner is here today with more on this issue. Thanks for joining us. So tell us, sure. what is the latest data on how many states are on board with legalizing marijuana use, recreational or medical? So right now, there are 40 states plus D.C. that allow for uh, medical marijuana, and the number for recreational use is 23 plus D.C. So, you know, I definitely feel like it's probably just a matter of maybe five years before all states are doing this or almost every state and maybe probably some changes to the federal laws as well. And some people use weed, we know, to help manage anxiety or insomnia. What is your professional take on that use? Okay, so this is a complicated one because I think a lot of this just depends on how somebody's using it and just the individual person because different people will respond differently to marijuana. Let's talk about sleep. I mean, there are tons of people out there who are using alcohol to help themselves fall asleep. Definitely not a good idea. It disrupts the quality of your sleep. There are people who will feel like marijuana helps them in that regard. And ultimately, you know, my opinion is obviously it's better to not use either of those things and to find healthier ways to manage some of this stuff. But if you were to ask me which one of those is the better option, I would say marijuana. You know, I have had problems really when it comes to people using marijuana on a daily basis, multiple times a day. This is really where I've seen people run into problems. And the main issue here, I think, is that people will feel like it's helping with their anxiety in many cases, but when they're not using, their anxiety is even higher than it would be at baseline. So most of my chronic marijuana users, when I've tried to get them to lower the amount or stop using it, they ultimately end up feeling like their anxiety levels go down. So you just have to be very careful. It's all about dose. There have been some studies that link marijuana used to an increased risk of developing schizophrenia. What's the evidence there on that? Yeah, in my opinion, based on everything that I've read, plus experience in my own practice, I'm convinced that there is this link. You know, unfortunately, I had a patient several years back. He, his parents, myself, were all convinced that his marijuana use caused him to develop schizophrenia. And it sticks with you. I mean, fortunately, he ended up graduating from GW University with honors but he has chronic auditory hallucinations. So what we found is that in general, there's about a 1% risk of developing schizophrenia in the general population. That risk essentially doubles if you are abusing or using marijuana. In particular, the interesting thing here is that the risk is higher for males than it is for females. And also the younger you use, the greater the risk. So, you know, I think people need to be aware of this. And absolutely, when I see patients in my practice who report that they start getting paranoid when they smoke, or if they have a family history of schizophrenia or severe mental illness, I tell them, look, you know, you are really in that category where I highly recommend you don't do this again, because all it takes is just one time you flip into psychosis. And unfortunately for some small percentage of people, that's it. You now have a chronic, serious mental health condition. All right, a lot of things to consider. Dr. Joshua Weiner, thanks so much for joining us with your insight on marijuana use. Thank you.